I didn't film anything while I was uh, building this solar panel array. Before, before I started, I thought that this will be just uh, a quick work, not so interesting uh, to film. But then as I was going, I realized that it was quite complicated and uh, a pretty big challenge as I didn't know anything about solar panels. I didn't know how to install them. I was not even sure if it would be better to install them on the roof or somewhere uh, separate from the roof. So I have better access to them, but uh, yeah, it takes another space if they're on the roof. Uh, they, they're taking already the structure that is there. Yeah, I was not sure because the, the roof is not uh, really facing the best direction for the sun. It's uh, one side is looking more towards east and uh, the other towards uh, west. It means that uh, on one side I would have sun in the morning and on the other side in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> Either way, I would only be using half of the sunlight. Even if I would split uh, pa some panels on one side, some on the other, I would still only be getting half of the power. And uh, yeah, after quite a bit of uh, thinking when, where to install them, I, I decided it's the best. I put them on the ground and I face them uh, the best way possible to to get the maximum sunlight but at the same time I didn't want to ruin the field that the absolute best position for the panels would be in front of the house where I really get the sun uh, pretty much uh, all day but I didn't want the solar panels to be so visible and uh, take uh, even more attention than the house uh, that's why I put them here they are uh, a bit covered from the trees, but uh, maybe I lose half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the evening of the sun. Uh, I was willing to sacrifice a bit of sunlight, but uh, have them a bit more uh, hidden and uh, not really be the first thing that you see when you pass by here. Also because I've decided to get quite a bit of uh, solar panels. It's the only source of uh, electric energy that I have at the house. So I really wanted to have a good system, especially in the winter and in the days like this. Uh, at times we get even a week of uh, fog or cloudy weather. I want to be able to have the electricity even in these times are the most important also to have electricity and to be able to have uh, warm water in the summer it's uh, not a problem the days are longer it's not cold so what I was looking for to be able to go through without uh, running out of the electricity are the short winter months for now I installed uh, 16 solar panels each uh, I think 330 watts in a total that is around 5,000 or 5,300 watts. For now it's around uh, a month and a half since uh, I have the panels uh, working connected to batteries and uh, yeah, the rest of the electricity in the house is uh, running and uh, I never happened to run out of uh, electricity i'm of course uh, looking to to be conscious about how i use electricity to not use a lot of electricity when i know that uh, we'll have a week of bad weather it's a bit of a different lifestyle than just having the electricity from the system where you don't really have to think about it you only think about uh, not spending too much to not pay too much but i got a bit carried away from the discussion I started at the beginning but there's so much things I learned around solar panels that I didn't know uh, when I started. As I said at the beginning I thought it would be just uh, quick work but then I made uh, all the footings, the, the, the construction where the panels are uh, sitting on and 
everything uh, I've done myself except for connecting uh, the cables into the box that is beneath here and then goes to the house but uh, everything else running the cable from here to the house uh, yeah a lot of new things and I regret a bit uh, not filming all the process it was interesting for me and yeah usually when it's interesting for me it's also it uh, it, it also makes for an interesting video but anyways it is what it is I'm definitely happy that I've decided to install them here and not on the and not on the roof first of all uh, climbing up on the roof and cleaning them uh, in the winter if they get uh, snowed in or uh, frozen on my roof uh, that it's almost impossible uh, it's so steep uh, even without snow it's dangerous going up there in snow cleaning this would be a nightmare so that's one of the things I I'm happy to to have them here then uh, another is that they're facing much better the sun than on the roof even when I started uh, using them around the uh, end of January I think I got the batteries uh, full in few hours and I have 14 kilowatts of capacity in the batteries and the panels charge them in uh, maybe four five hours with the winter sun that it's uh, quite low also another thing that uh, I prefer having them here than on the roof is that uh, in this area the trees are blocking a lot of the wind so the strong winds uh, pass more uh, on top and it's uh, quite a big structure if those really strong winds that we have in the winter would be hitting directly on the surface I think they would survive anyway because uh, I made uh, really strong uh, footings and uh, all the structure but still I feel better at night when I hear those strong winds and I know that uh, the solar panels are not uh, getting all of that directly in. If they would be on the roof the, the wind there is uh, much stronger than here. And also I think for the roof that wouldn't be so good because the I would somehow have to drill through the roof. I prefer not to do that. Each, uh, each thing you have to drill through the roof, you have a potential leakage that you can create in the future. Just making all the structure here on the ground was uh, quite hard. I had some help from uh, my wife and uh, kids, which uh, at times is uh, very valuable and uh, <laughs> makes a big difference. Imagining to do all this on the roof would be, I'm happy to having to go on the roof uh, as little as possible. From this perspective, you can uh, see much better the structure. Some said that maybe it's a bit of uh, overkill with uh, so many footings and uh, all this uh, steel that it's, it's quite wide, but uh, I don't know, I didn't want to save uh, money on something and then have uh, all the solar panels destroyed if the wind would blow them down. Make, I preferred making the structure strong and uh, ho hopefully it will last many years without having to rebuild it. As I said before I've done it all myself so yeah I've, I've come up with some uh, strange solutions but it worked for me. I made all these uh, concrete footings and then I was not sure how I will uh, level all of them and I decided to just put in uh, the steel uh, threaded rods <laughs> simply with the uh, bolts I can uh, align up and down uh, as I want and uh, this way was much easier to find everything in level also this way I can uh, dis disassemble everything if I need to also all of the other parts are just uh, screwed together. The only thing that it's welded together are the separate uh, triangles. Uh, there's five of them and uh, I only have to redo the structure that is holding up the electric box because the original one that I've done uh, was too far away from the cable that was coming from the house and 
I've got the used cable. The land was perfectly coming out uh, maybe a meter from the ground and uh, the same in the house. I absolutely was okay with moving the box and uh, having to redo the structure that is holding it uh, up then having to buy a completely new cable because the cable of that size, at least where I live, it costs uh, a lot. Another thing I've done to have them a bit more efficient, out of these 16 panels I've created uh, four branches of four solar panels. So four of them are connected together and they, then they go into the box to the fuse and uh, to the house and I've done this so if maybe one part of the solar panels has a shade the other ones uh, still work uh, separately because if you connect them uh, I don't know the exact word in English but uh, if you if you connect them one after each other if one of the solar panels is uh, in shade all of the others will work uh, at the maximum of the solar panel that is in shade that means uh, that uh, if, I don't know, these two would be in shade, all of the 14 panels would be working this, with the same power as these two. That's why it's uh, much better to connect uh, smaller groups of panel together and then uh, I have the smart charge on the other side in the house that is then called control in this uh, four branches and all the power that is coming and running that correctly to the battery. I'm not really sure how it works but because I'm not an electrician but I understand some uh, basic principles and uh, that was uh, enough for me to be able to roughly understand how how it works and uh, and hopefully how to make them also more efficient. Also what happens in the winter when the sun is really low when it goes down, maybe for an hour, only the bottom half of the solar panels has a shade. Dividing the bottom half of the panels from the top, it allows the top side to work still uh, at uh, its full capacity and uh, it's not affected by the panels that are in shade. Plus, I can see a bit better if there's a problem. Uh, I can understand easily from where it's coming, seeing uh, which part of the group it's uh, not working as it should. I can see from the app that I have that is connected to the inverter in the house how much power is coming from uh, a certain uh, part of the panels and this way if one it's not working I can uh, see from the power that is lower than the other groups and uh, yeah since I've got the solar panels working I'm really happy with how it's uh, working probably because uh, I didn't want to save on the money and buy some uh, bad quality panels or anything else. I really wanted to have the system that is reliable and uh, I thought uh, there is no, there's no sense in building uh, something that uh, as soon as there will, be, there will be bad weather and at the moments like in the winter when I need the most electricity, having the power to heat the water and uh, some other things that uh, I need electricity for in the house I would be left without. I don't regret anything that uh, I've spent to build this. O also another thing is for now I'm using only this uh, thicker cable where all the electricity, all the current from the solar panels first it goes in here to the fuses uh, it's like uh, this is the first uh, first line of uh, protection. If there's a thunder or any problem, I can turn off the fuses here. Then uh, everything goes through this cable, and I left another one. This one is still unused, and I'm planning to make here another waterproof uh, box or something that uh, I can put in the generator. Any case that I have uh, the batteries empty, I can uh, use the generator. I really hope to avoid that. I will see this year how it goes. Uh, at the moment I don't have it yet. I know it's quite uh, risky having fridge and having things and 
not having a, a, a backup of electricity if uh, the batteries get empty. For me, first of all, it makes no sense living off grid and then uh, having to run generator all the time and having all the noise from generator and all the other things that I don't like about it. I prefer being conscious and uh, yeah, maybe ha not having all of the commodities and spending electricity for things that uh, you don't really need. What I've seen so far is if you manage a bit how you use electricity and you look uh, at the weather and you follow the weather for a few days ahead, it's possible to have electricity like this all the time uh, without problems. I was also a bit uh, disappointed. I didn't feel many of uh, the construction of this because because it's a big part of uh, the living of grid or whatever you want to call it. I know that in, in the end you need money to buy these things. You At times when I think about it, it's uh, quite hard to get to the point being uh, where, where you are become of grid because to come to that point you are quite dependent on the grid and on uh, having money to buy these things. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's possible, but uh, I was not able to get uh, the, the panels and a lot of the things I have if uh, I didn't work for it and if I didn't have money, a job and these things uh, require you to be <laughs> dependent on the grid and uh, working towards being uh, off-grid. At times it's quite uh, complicated.